Warm welcome to everybody to Fukanza Zengi, to the very beginning of Fukanza Zengi. Uh, we looked at the title last time, and now we're getting into the flow of the text. And a few uh, years ago, um, Mike to the Cross translated it as follows. Now we look into it, the truth is all pervasive. Another way, upon investigation, the Buddha enlightenment is all around. This is the good news. <laughs> and with this very good news, a lot of um, a lot of traditional texts like the Shinjin Mei or even the Shodoka start. They start with this beautiful original awakening. And using the world original we don't mean historically first original means available at every moment original means also as opposed to a certain vision that I've been taught when I was very little by Christianity, that is to say that I was a sinner and I had to get better and to pay for the evil I did or my ancestors did. Well, this picture of improving through virtuous work and actions and deeds, of course, to a certain extent, exists in Buddhism. But what is said, basically, is not originally sinners, but originally sitters. And I like to play with words. You know that. A bit like Montaigne, my great, great Western master. Montaigne was a writer, politician, philosopher, who lived quite a long time ago in the 16th century in the region of Bordeaux and he loved the matter of words he loved it like Dogen playing with words and that's what I do now not original sinners but original sitters and this is important to understand this is important to see and I'm I'm going to be honest with you guys, it was a breath of fresh air, because it was so heavy to carry the burden of sin. Even if they gave me Christ to, well, save me, it was incredibly difficult. I couldn't put my fingers in chocolate, I couldn't do anything without feeling, am I doing wrong? <laughs> it took me ages to drop it <laughs> and I, I can realize that Christ can do the trick and this boundless love that Christ represents is just it's, wow, it leaves me speechless but I went for for the guy on the cushion <laughs> and I went for this very positive way of taking life, looking at life. Now the truth is all around, indeed. Reality as such, in all sorts of forms, ways, waves, people. The way light plays just now. The sound of this humidity extractor at the back 
Wow. Reality. Isness. So what it also says, there is no real need to fetch something out there. There is no real need to go beyond. Beyond this horizon. One may stay, and one actually always stays home. Changing, ever changing, but always home. And this home is enough. It's more than enough. The teachings, the Dharma, the examples of Buddha practicing, find it all around. That's also an extremely positive way of looking at the world. Not the world tainted by sin. But there is a dance. There is a joy. There is a celebration of life. And that celebration is wonderful. So you see these Dharma, these existences, displaying Buddha nature, spontaneously, naturally, are plentiful. The truth? Bird singing, as my teacher used to say, heart beating, things that are not contrived, not a result of an intention, things that are just popping. Now a bird is joining me. It's beautiful. He sings beautifully. Wait, listen. You get it? <laughs> so, the truth is that close. And as you know, in a long, long past, I mean, a long time ago, monks, people used to travel huge distances. Dogen went to China. <laughs> he went all the way to China to, <laughs> to study with Niu Zhou. He didn't know he was going to study with a particular teacher. All he wanted was to actually solve this puzzling question of life and death. He wanted to understand with his body-mind, to display with his body-mind, well, his original face. And he's telling us at the beginning of this text, hey guys, there's no need to travel, there's no need to go, there's no need to go too far. It's close, it's intimate. It's now, it's, it's at hand, it's just not out of your reach. It is what is in and out of yourself. And indeed, once self is forgotten, all existences are coming forth naturally. Sound of the traffic of the cars, sound of the window closing and opening of the chair singing simplicity 
So enjoy your practice. Um, and learn to just come back here and now. Learn to be happy with what is given to you. In your relationship, in your work, difficulty, the problem you're given are perfect. Okay, I'm going to let you go. <laughs> and I wish you a wonderful end of Ango. We were soon going to sit our little Rohatsu. And um, then it's going to be the retreat in Belgium. I'm very glad that Jinyu is is getting apparently better and is present on the forum. So all of us guys we're gonna meet there, practice, sit and so and I believe also three guys are going to receive Jukai and one of them is going to receive also Shuke Tokudo, which is the um, priests ordination. This is to say Soen. Soen is going to receive Shuketukuto and, and Peter 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 and Sean are going to receive Jukai. So I'm very busy with Rakusu and writing and all sorts of stuff. Anyway, take it easy. <laughs> it's just kidding. Maybe gone. Take care. <laughs>